Okay, YouTubers, it is week 10, right? Week 10? I think so. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, our next question is... Yes. What's your favorite video from your channel and why? I adore this question, but I cannot just pick one. Of course not. Um, so, I would say... It's a tie, mm, yeah, it's a tie between um, the Don't Touch Her video and, <laughs> if you haven't seen that, watch it, obviously, for any of these that you haven't heard, and the um, Masquerade video that we just recently did. Um, the Masquerade video was, like, so great, like, trying to do it. I, I don't know if Val and Allie agree, but I felt like I was director there because I was the one, you know, I was just telling everyone how to do what they did and just getting very thorough with all the direction in the video. And it was just great. Like, and I edited that video too. It was so much fun. We had a lot of great people helping and everything. So I was like super excited to, to do that. And the Don't Touch Her video was so funny because, I mean, uh, if you haven't watched it, watch it. But at the end of the video, we're basically, me and Val are screaming our heads off. <laughs> but you can't see us screaming, but we're just emphasizing that we're still, like, chasing each other around or whatever. Um, so we're just, like, literally just screaming our heads off for, like, a few minutes. It was so funny. We started to get lightheaded, I think. Oh, my God. That was so long ago. But, like, it was a great idea. And, like, the way it came out was just so good. I was just so happy with it. Um, but, of course, like, all our blooper videos are, like, super incredibly amazing. Um, and I feel like our blooper videos always just, like, get viewers... Um, get people to like us, you know, because, I mean, we show our, like, funny side and everything. It's just, like, it's such a blast because it's so natural, too. It's just awesome. I love our videos. <laughs> okay. Um, I would like to answer some questions. I have two questions to answer from, I will try to pronounce this correctly, KKL1234. Okay, and you asked... How do you save the money to buy things for cosplay, and is it difficult? Um, I mean, well, we all work, so I would say that's where it comes in. When we first started, um, you know, it was, you know, we're not, I don't think, when I first started cosplaying, I didn't even have a car, um, so I didn't have to worry about that expense. And then on top of that, like, I'm not worrying about college. I was in high school, so, I mean, there really were no expenses I had to worry about. It gets harder and harder as you go along, but we're definitely trying to save money as we go along. And usually the way it works is now, with more expenses, as it goes along, we kind of just, this is, in my perspective, this is what I do, is we just buy it piece by piece. Um, because we really have no set date for any of our cosplays, but, you know, we start off with... We like to get groups from the same show, at least, you know, like a pairing of three, because we are only three people, um, and just slowly build it up, and sometimes we will, like, you know, kind of do, like, a handy job, handy work, if that makes sense, and just kind of um, do our own version of it, instead of buying the actual piece, because some of the times the pieces are so much more expensive than they deserve to be. Uh, unfortunately, cosplay is a very expensive... Um, hobby, but I do admit that when it comes to something like wigs, it's always advisable to buy expensive ones. However, I've recently found that eBay has incredible wings for low, uh, wigs for low prices, so if you want a wig, I would suggest going there. Um, so yeah, it is difficult, um, but you know, we work around it whenever we can, and I mean, we really don't order that many uh, cosplays because we have like our main groups that we do so that kind of works out for us because we, we already have our most of our popular cosplays so yeah um and the oh boy this next one this next username good luck to me um kua anime kingdom that's probably a reference to an anime show I've never heard of because I'm such a rookie. Um, to all, do you guys have any hobbies besides cosplaying? If so, what are they? Um, I think I just twitched there. My arm hurt. Um, <laughs> I would say 
I mean, honestly, like, I've always had, like, music is, like, my life. I love music, but my life is currently overrun by work and school, unfortunately. And we haven't cosplayed in a while, so that's also unfortunate. But, um, I do enjoy art. That's a big part of my life. And, um, I actually am in college going for visual communications. I'm taking my test next week, ironically, so I'm kind of nervous if I get in or not. Um, but right now I'm in liberal arts. Too much information? Uh, whatever. So, yeah, I mean, and then I used to be a gamer girl. Incredibly. Not as much. So gaming is definitely a good part of my life. And try and incorporate it wherever I can. Um, I also enjoy photography. Check out my DA channel. There's a lot of photography there. I really do like doing that. That's been a current thing that I started this year. Um, and, I mean, obviously hanging out with friends whenever I can. And then cosplaying. But, you know, it's hard to prioritize everything. So it's hard to say when I get to do everything I want. Because it usually doesn't happen. It's like whenever I sneak it in, I do. And, um, I think I'm a kind of a computer junkie. If I'm, you know, not doing anything else, I'll be on my computer. As always, watching YouTube videos, random shit, on DeviantArt, stuff like that. So, yeah. That's it. Okay. Um, hope you enjoyed that. And any questions, please feel free to ask, because we will answer. Um, battles tomorrow, and Allie is on Thursday. Hopefully. Because last week she took like three days to post, and I hope she's listening because I was really like, Allie, hello. Anyway, okay. That's all for me. So I will see you guys next week. Bye.